the first time countdown's number two story tonight's worst persons in the world the bronze to denver's newspaper the rocky mountain news which posted an item online without attribution or byline which appears to have been cut and pasted from either a right-wing blog or the internet movie database it claims senator obama holds quote both american and kenyan since 1963 citizenship this is one of the most insidious of the online smears because it is unaccompanied by a blood-curdling scream there's just an implication sadly for the far right not only does the u.s state department's website emphasize that kenya does not recognize dual nationality but the constitution of kenya specifically prohibits dual citizenship you can only have kenyan citizenship if you renounce citizenship in any other country you have to renounce it or they'll renounce you the Rocky Mountain News fell for it. Runner-up Sean Hannity of Fix News. The fix this time is his fixation on Obama. Responding to the candidate's reference to a Fox Noise mistake about his missus, Hannity said, Well, Senator, here's a way for you to make sure these so-called false hunts about your wife can get cleared up. Sit right here next to me. Come on the program and you can set the record straight. Don't hide behind campaign hacks or surrogates or repeat your talking points like trained parrots. The leader of the free world? Well, he shouldn't have to do that. And he shouldn't have to sit next to some two-bit talk show hack like Sean Hannity. In fact, no U.S. citizen without a criminal record should ever have to. But our winners tonight, CEO Gerard J. Arpey and American Airlines, acknowledging today that it is not just charging ordinary passengers for extra baggage, as in more than one piece of checked luggage, it is also charging U.S. troops. Even the ones traveling towards the war zones. Two soldiers from Texas were recently charged, 100 bucks and 300 bucks respectively, for their extra duffel bags. Moreover, the airline has an entirely specious defense for the practice. It says it charges the soldiers less than it does ordinary passengers. Plus, since the soldiers get all of their travel expenses reimbursed by the Army, it's really charging them nothing. That sounds lovely, except the soldiers are the ones who still have to pay the extra 100 or 300 bucks out of their own pockets and then file for reimbursement from the Pentagon. So you guys are asking our troops to file expense reports while they're getting shot at in Iraq. Nice. American Airlines and Chairman Gerard J. Arpey nickel and diming the soldiers. Today's worst persons in the world.